Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Typewriter video series. This is Joe Van Cleve. Today, I want to talk about keyboard layouts. And in particular, there's a certain feature on almost all manual typewriters, which is the backspace key. Let's talk about the backspace key, shall we? So does it matter to you where the backspace key is on a typewriter keyboard? You know, for a long time, I didn't really think it mattered. And then more recently, I kind of discovered, hey, you know, certain layouts of the backspace key work better for me than others. Let me show you what I mean. So let's take, for starters, this Smith Corona Sterling. This is a Super 5 Series typewriter. And when I start typing on this typewriter for an extended period of time, of course I make mistakes. And I usually keep my correction tape next to me on the desk. And I am uh, right-handed, predominantly right-handed. And of course, the way I'm seated right now, of course, is opposite. But I'm doing it in this position just to show you. But pretend like this is my right hand. And when I'm typing and I make a mistake, I discover that I have to uh, backspace usually to get back to the mistake I made. Well, what I discovered is I can be reaching for the correction tape with my right hand while I, at the same time, I can hit the backspace key with my left hand. And that makes me just ready right then to do the correction. And then I can, while I'm setting the correction tape back down, I can space back to where I, where I left off at and continue. And I discovered that it's very fast uh, when you're doing a fast-paced typing to have the backspace key on the left side of the keyboard if you're right-handed and use whiteout on the right side. Now let's compare that with this Olympia SF typewriter where the backspace key is on the right side of the keyboard instead of the left. And if I'm typing and I make a mistake, I grab for my correction tape on with my right hand because I'm right-handed. And then immediately I have to stop and backspace with the same hand and then go and do my correction. My left hand is sort of not being used right now. So it's a little bit more kludgy. It's not quite as smooth, uh, I noticed, when I'm typing on these kinds of machines for me. Uh, being a portable typewriter also, this one doesn't have a carriage release lever on the left side, so I can't even use my left hand to move the carriage manually back to the, to the correction point. So again, Everything has to be done with the right hand. It's a little slower. And here's another example of a portable typewriter with the backspace key on the right side. Again, it's a wonderful machine, just like the Olympia SF is a wonderful machine. No criticism intended. But when I'm typing and I have my correction tape here and I make a mistake, okay, I gotta grab the correction tape and then oh, I have to use my right hand to do the backspacing to the point of correction. So again, not as smooth as having it available on the other hand. But it's not just Smith Coronas that have the backspace key or button on the left side. You'll notice this Hermes 3000. Hey, backspace is on the left side of the machine. That's nice. I grab my correction tape to do a, a, a correction and while I'm grabbing it, I'm backspacing at the same time so I can be more efficient with my corrections and get back to writing. I think for me, this bias that I have for preferring the backspace key on the left side of the machine has a lot to do with the fact that I'm predominantly right-handed. But also, if you look at uh, some of these whiteout uh, cartridges like this, this style of Bic whiteout uh, is designed to be used with your right hand. Um, the, the way it's molded this off-centered shape to it, the way the tape comes out of the cartridge, you have to hold it with your right hand in order to use it. If you flip it around and hold it with your left hand like this, the tape is on the wrong side. Otherwise, you could hold it like that, but it's kind of clumsy because now you have this kind of overhand hooked wrist kind of a thing with your left hand. So a lot of these cartridges are really designed for your right hand, preferably. And so, you know, using it with your right hand, it's nice to have that backspace key on the left side. Now, when it comes to other types of non-printing keyboard keys, uh, other than the backspace key, 
it's not necessarily so asymmetrical. For instance, with the margin release button, which on this typewriter is most typewriters, the margin release here is the on the opposite side as from the backspacer. Well, that's not such a big deal, at least in my experience, because I find regardless of uh, what the purpose is, usually I don't need the margin release at the same time that I'm doing a correction. So I can margin release with either hand, okay. Margin release for me is basically when I want to type beyond the right margin, a little bit into the right margin, I, I will hit the margin release and it doesn't really matter to me that much which hand I use it on. But as I said again, the backspace key is a lot more important for me because I'm using my correction tape with one hand. I want to have the backspace on the other side. It speeds up the whole correction process and I can get back to writing. Now, as for other types of keys, like for instance, the tab button. Uh, a lot of machines, the tabs are on the right side. And I think that's simply a, a product of the fact that most products in Western culture are marketed for right-handed people more so than left-handed people or ambidextrous. But some of the typewriters, as the, I showed you earlier, the Hermes 3000, it does have the tabs up here in the middle. I don't think it really matters to me where the tab setting is either. Even the, the ribbon color selector doesn't really matter to me. I really like, again, having that backspace key is real important. And as, as I said earlier, I don't really notice the difference until I've been doing some extensive writing with a machine. And then, especially if I've been using a Smith Corona or another machine with a, with a left hand, a left sided backspace, and then I switch to another machine that has it on the right side, I immediately notice it, immediately notice it. Because it's not nearly as convenient to do erasures and get back to writing. It's just a little bit slower of a process. Well, this was a fairly brief little video today, but I thought I would just ask you guys, what do you prefer for your backspace button? Do you prefer it on the right side, or do you prefer it on the left side, or does it matter to you? Have you ever noticed this thing before? This thing about how easy is it to correct based on what side of the keyboard the backspace key is. Think about that and uh, give me some comments down below if you have any ideas about this. Until next time, you guys have a great day and happy typing.